Hi guys, my name is Reese Kenny and I'd like to show you how to create your own music streaming service just like Spotify. So I'll go ahead and log in and then show you what kind of thing we're making. Type my password to and log in. And this is the interface we have, very similar to Spotify, it looks very familiar to a lot of people. And we have a list of albums on the home page. If I click on any of these, you'll see that we have a nice display of the album and all the songs on there. And from there we can play the music, so I'll click on any of these, and it plays the song for us. And using the controls at the bottom, we have full control over what we're doing with the music. I can pause it, I can play it again, I can skip to the next song, which you'll see goes in order at the moment. I can press next and go back to the start. I can shuffle my music, so you can see it's played out of order now. I can unshuffle it, I can repeat songs, I can skip forward in songs, I can do all this. I can change the volume, and all this is made completely from scratch. We don't use any plugins or anything to do this, we just do it all on our own. And this site has a bunch of other cool features too, such as the ability to add songs to playlists. You can see I can add it to any of my playlists there, and if I go to my music, I can see a list of my playlists, I can click on those, and I can see all my songs in that playlist. I can delete playlists, I can remove the songs from the playlists, or of course, play my music. Not only that, but I can search for music, so I can search for anything I want, I can search for artists, I can search for songs, I can search for albums, I can click on the artists and I can see the artist's own page, because every artist in our site will have their own page with their, all their albums and all their music, and we can click and play their music right from here. We can also do a bunch of cool stuff other than play music, such as update user details, and of course we can log out. And we're still going. There's still a bunch of things we can add to this site to make it even better. And this course is ongoing, which means it doesn't have to end as soon as you reach a final lecture. You can leave me suggestions and I'll do videos showing you how to make the new features. So by taking this course, you'll not only have an awesome website to show your friends and family or put it on your portfolio, which will look awesome to employers. You'll also become very familiar with skills such as HTML, CSS, PHP, MySQL, JavaScript, some jQuery. Uh, and we do a lot of Ajax calls too, which is a way to do calls to a database without actually having to refresh the page. Because you'll see, when we play this music, when we go to another page, the music's still playing, we still have full control over it. And one final thing, by enrolling in this course, you not only have my full support as you move through the lectures, ready to answer any questions you have, but you'll also get access to my previous and future courses at a heavily discounted rate, which is only available to my students. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started on the path to creating our own music streaming service and we'll do it together.